the worldly philosophers. In the information age, the people who work the hardest physically will be paid the least. It is already true today and has been true throughout history. Face your fears and doubts, and new worlds will open to you. My first product, the nylon and velcro wallet, was manufactured in the Far East and shipped to a warehouse in New York, near where I had gone to school. After the worldly philosophers, I recommend reading The Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin, Paul Zane Pilser's Unlimited Wealth, James Dale Davidson's The Sovereign Individual, Robert Preacher's The Crest of the Wave, and Harry Dent's The Great Depression Ahead. I was talking to someone who needed to be locked up. Simple math and common sense are all you need to do well financially. There. I find so many people struggling today, often working harder, simply because they cling to old ideas. They want things to be the way they were, and they resist change. I know people who are losing their jobs or their houses, and they blame technology or the economy or their boss. Sadly, they fail to realize that they might be the problem. Old ideas are their biggest liability. It is a liability simply because they fail to realize that while that idea or way of doing something was an asset yesterday, yesterday is gone. For most people, the reason they don't win financially is because the pain of losing money is far greater than the joy of being rich. Rich Dad thought it best to go broke before 30. You still have time to recover. Whenever you feel short or in need of something, give what you want first and it will come back in buckets. That is true for money, a smile, love, friendship. I know it is often the last thing a person may want to do, but it has always worked for me. I just trust that the principle of reciprocity is true, and I give what I want. How do you afford a good education for your children and provide for your own retirement? It requires using financial intelligence instead of hard work. In today's fast-changing world, it's not so much what you know anymore that counts, because often what you know is old. It is how fast you learn. That skill is priceless. Winners are not afraid of losing. The first one is Good to Great by Jim Collins. When I ask the classes I teach, how many of you can cook a better hamburger than McDonald's? Almost all the students raise their hands. I then ask, so if most of you cook a better hamburger, how come McDonald's makes more money than you? The answer is obvious, McDonald's is excellent at business systems. The reason so many talented people are poor is because they focus on building a better hamburger and know little to nothing about business systems. Good cash flow managers review their cash position daily, looking at cash sources and needs for the next week, month, and quarter. And what being an adult means is knowing what you have to do and doing it, even though you may not feel like doing it. So how do you beat laziness? Once again, the answer is a little greed. Failure is part of the process of success. Assets put money in your pocket. Nice.